What's going on guys? It's Jimmy here. Welcome to our daily show where we discuss the fourth stimulus check update, the stimulus package update, money, investing, the stock market, pretty much everything you need to know about on a daily basis here on our show. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below. New videos come out every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you find these videos helpful, don't forget to hit the like button for us down below. We got a lot to talk about here today. Okay, first, an update on the uh, proposal that they want to include in this next stimulus package that is to beef up, basically strengthening the IRS policy so the IRS can kind of look in your bank accounts. At first, they wanted to make it so the IRS could look into anybody's bank accounts uh, as low as $600 transactions. Yeah, and this got a lot of pushback. This got a lot of pushback pushback. As you can see here, the facts around an IRS proposal, some claim would allow spying on American bank accounts. And this has gotten a lot of pushback so much, in fact, that they are now considering changing this to only report to the IRS transactions on $10,000 or more or bank accounts with $10,000 or more in the account. However, this is not set in stone because the bill hasn't passed and they're now still fl uh, floating these details around. And uh, there's still a lot of details flying around about this. In fact, Republicans who are basically against the entire stimulus package as a whole are just combating this entire IRS proposal. See, what the Democrats want to do is they want to strengthen um, the IRS in general. So the Tre Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen and IRS uh, Chief Commissioner Charles Reddick say that the IRS actually, because of tax cheats and um, basically the IRS is owed about $1 trillion per year. Um, and if they can, if the IRS can beef up its um, enforcement and its labor force, the IRS, people that work at the IRS, that they can gain some of the money that it's owed, up to $1 trillion per year. And this is one of the ways they want to do it, is basically to look into Americans' bank accounts and see potentially what might be owed to the IRS. <laughs> of course, a lot of Americans, on the other hand, you have the IRS over here, you have Americans over here, and they say, no way do we, we, we want the IRS looking into our bank accounts. The, uh, the government is already surveilling us enough, <laughs> more than it should probably. And um, a lot of Americans and even Republicans are completely against this. Republicans are trying to just combat this part of the plan or even the whole stimulus package in itself. Remember, not a single Republican is going to vote yes on the stimulus package at all. Not a single Republican voted yes on the third stimulus check package as well, as I might add. Um, so Republicans are just completely against this. They think that this shouldn't be added to the stimulus package at all. And uh, so there's a lot of uh, going back and forth on this. And remember, the main reason the Democrats want to add this is because the more information that the IRS knows about people's bank accounts, people's tax returns, people's transactions, um, the more they can kind of uh, say, hey, you owe us taxes on that. So for example, if you buy and sell items, if you're um, selling items on eBay, if you're selling cryptocurrency and not reporting it as a transaction, which there's a lot of people doing nowadays, just as an example. Um, if you're selling items at a flea market, if you're um, just any, any type of example like that, right? There's a lot of things like that that are not reported. And um, anything you buy and sell, and if you don't report that as income, it's income. You're supposed to report any income. A lot of people don't realize that. Any income you have is supposed to be reported. And um, the IRS says that up to $1 trillion of income is not reported per year. $1 trillion every single year. So the IRS is trying to figure out ways to uh, capture this income, but it's very controversial. So let me know your thoughts on this. Uh, of course, uh, I don't think anybody wants the IRS looking into their bank accounts, but uh, you know the IRS also wants to say, hey, uh, we're, we're losing a trillion dollars per year because people owe us tax money that they're not paying. 
So it's a double-edged sword. Yeah, let me know your thoughts on this in the, down in the comments. I'll keep you up to date on this because this is one of those very controversial uh, items that they're trying to include in the stimulus package because, well, government is essentially losing a trillion dollars every single year. But on the other hand, uh, we don't want government like looking into people's bank accounts uh, on a daily basis. Also in the news, there's multiple different groups advocating for stimulus checks to be included in this next package. In addition to the monthly stimulus checks called the child tax credits that were included in the third stimulus check package. Of course, we all know that those go out to uh, 65 million children of 250 to $300 per month. Those end at the end of this year, but they want to extend that for several more years in this next package. As you can see here from fortune.com, could Social Security recipients get another $1,400 stimulus checks? We have the Senior Citizens League has sent a letter to members of U.S. House of Representatives and the U.S. Senate urging them to consider a $1,400 stimulus check to be included in there for um, senior citizens. Of course, we also have um, them considering just basically a $1,400 stimulus check for everybody, which they easily could do um, for as low as $100 billion or $200 billion. And $100 to $200 billion may sound like a lot, but that's actually less than 5% of the entire cost of this next stimulus package. Uh, and remember, they're already taking care of children with the uh, child tax credits that are expected to be monthly stimulus checks extended for several more years in this next stimulus package. So they could also take care of uh, adults and children with this next package and adults could be taken care of with as little as less than 5% of the cost with this next stimulus package. There's also a petition for monthly stimulus checks to the tune of $2,000. This petition has reached almost 3 million signatures on change.org. This is actually one of the most signed petitions ever on change.org. So there are a lot of uh, petitions and signatures going on around in kind of petitioning Congress for this. Now, the Democrats themselves have been open to fourth stimulus checks and even monthly recurring stimulus checks as well. As you can see here, President Biden has said he is open to a fourth stimulus check apparently as well in the past. Um, fourth stimulus check update, 150 economists and 28 senators all Democrats, of course, uh, are supporters of reoccurring payments as well. Uh, for stimulus check, over 80 different lawmakers now support further direct payments to Americans. Um, Rashida Tlaib, Democratic representative, and Pramila Jayapal have introduced a bill in the past for a $2,000 one-time stimulus check, followed by $1,000 monthly recurring payments. And we've had a bill from Senator Ed Markey and Elizabeth Warren that has pushed President Joe Biden for $2,000 monthly stimulus checks. So these are possibilities. We do have monthly stimulus checks that are um, currently proposed for this next stimulus package for the child, for the children, the child tax credits. Um, whether or not it's going to be more than just the children in this next package, well, we don't know, but it is currently looking like it's going to be there for children. Whether or not there's going to be an additional check for adults, well, we'll have to see. We do have groups advocating for that. Whether or not there might be more stimulus checks in the future, that is a possibility as well because, well, uh, the Democrats have control of the House and the Senate for a full 12 months after this. So they get to use reconciliation processes for a full 12 months after this. So um, they just got new reconciliation cards or reconciliation processes on October 1st. So there'll probably two, be about two more uh, major stimulus packages or major packages, whatever you want to call them, with stimulus-type items in there um, throughout the course of the next 12 months. I, 12 months about because in November of 2022 is when the House and the Senate will go up for re-election. And of course, the Republicans think they're going to take back the House and the Senate. 
Democrats think they're going to uh, keep the House and the Senate. So that will be a very big reelection. So the Democrats are probably going to need to try to do as much as they can to hold the House and the Senate. So you never know what might come of these uh, next couple packages. Remember that people thought that monthly checks would never happen. And they did happen for those child tax credits, 65 million people or 65 million children, and the, thus the families of those are getting right now monthly recurring checks every single month to a total of $3,000 to $3,600 per year with those child tax credits. Those are monthly checks that are literally happening right now every single month. Those uh, end at the end of this year. December will be the last payment. But the first six months of this year, uh, January through June, will be on your tax returns. You get that as, as a one lump sum when you file your 2021 tax return. You're going to get those first six months. So let me see here. You'll get uh, $300 times six, which will be $1,800, and 250 times six, which is what uh, my mental math tells me, $1,500 per child for children over the age of six. And for children under the age of six, you're going to get $1,800 on your tax return. Because remember, the first six months of those did not go out. They didn't start the monthly payments until July. Okay, so that you're going to get on your tax return when you file your 2021 tax return. So sometime around March, April, whenever you get your tax refund back. Okay, the monthly checks are going to stop at the end of this year unless they can pass this package, which is the whole goal of what they're trying to do right now. Okay, so uh, they do want to extend these monthly checks for children, 65 million children. Uh, it's about 40 million families because, well, some families have more than one child. Uh, everybody thought that monthly checks would never happen. Everybody thought if you would have, especially if you would have looked a few years back in the in the past, monthly stimulus checks, would that's a pipe dream. That'll never happen. And lo and behold, they're happening. It's It's a real thing here. Um, so, uh, they, they want to continue them now till 2025 and whether or not they'll do them for adults here in the future, again, could be a very real possibility. Uh, they have a full 12 months to do something like that here, um, until the next midterm election. And you never know, the Democrats could win the next election in the House and Senate and then have two more years to do it. The Republicans could win the House and Senate and then they could do something like that. Remember that um, former President Donald Trump actually increased the child tax credits when they had control of the House, the Senate and the presidency. And they did that through the reconciliation process as well. So anything could happen. The Democrats do have control of the House and Senate for the next 12 months. So there'll probably be like another two more um, big packages, and I'll keep you up to date on all of these. In addition to a possible $1,400 stimulus checks that we have a lot of groups advocating for, um, or who knows what could be included in there, remember that they the second stimulus check was added in there at the very last moment. So if we go back in time to December, um, that was when former President Donald Trump was president. We had a Republic, pre Republican president. We also had a Republican Senate. The Senate was controlled by Republicans. Mitch McConnell was the leader of the Senate. And um, uh, Biden had already won the presidency. He was a president in waiting. But um, former President Donald Trump was still there, but Biden was uh, waiting to come in presidency. Uh, they wanted to pass the second stimulus check package, and um, McConnell had agreed to pass a stimulus package, but they wanted it to be less than a trillion dollars. Okay, so just to put that in comparison right now, the stimulus package that they're looking to pass now. They originally were talking about $3.5 trillion. Now we think it's going to be somewhere between two and three trillion. Okay. Just to put that in comparison and size. The second stimulus check package, um, Mitch McConnell wanted to, it to be less than one trillion. I think it came out to be 960 billion. Okay. So this next stimulus package is going to be between two and three trillion.
But the difference is, is that the first stimulus check package, which underneath former President Trump was $2.3 trillion, uh, that's the largest stimulus package yet. The second stimulus package, like I said, I think it was $960 billion. And the third stimulus check package underneath President Biden, the first one and only one underneath Biden, was $1.9 trillion. All three of those were not paid for. I say that because um, nobody really paid for them because um, they didn't raise taxes on anybody. And the government already runs a deficit under former President Trump. Remember, he added almost about $8 trillion to the deficit in his four years. Um, Biden, he's come in. We're still running a deficit. Um, and so those three packages, they didn't raise any taxes on the wealthy or any creative financing or anything like that. So those three just went to the national deficit. But these next two packages, both the physical infrastructure package that is uh, bipartisan, both Republicans, Mitch McConnell supports it, he voted for it, and Democrats, um, all the Democrats are voting for it, or at least they did in the Senate. Um, whether or not that's going to happen in the House, that's kind of up for grabs right now. But um, the physical infrastructure package and the next stimulus package, the American Families Plan, where they have these monthly stimulus checks for children, a possible forced stimulus check for adults. There's also an adult tax credit in there. Um, which is kind of similar to a child tax credit, but we don't know the exact details on it, how it's going to work, if it's going to have monthly stimulus checks in there, or if it's going to be a, uh, a check that you get at, at tax return refund. Remember, the child tax credit used to be just a, ta a check that you would get at tax refund. It, it used to not have the monthly check option. It used to just be you would file your tax return, and then you would get the check. So we don't know if this uh, proposal for the adult tax, the adult tax credit is going to be something that you just get when you file your tax return or if it's going to be something that has a monthly check option as well. It's expected to be for low and middle income adults that is going to be somewhere around $50,000 income and less. Uh, it's definitely not going to be something for uh, $100,000 of income or anything like that. So I'll keep you up to date as, uh, for that as well. But um, remember, there's a child tax credit, and there's also an adult tax credit as well. And we're expecting that to be in this next package as well. But remember, this the first three stimulus packages, nobody paid for. Two underneath former President Trump, one underneath Biden. And the third stimulus check package was passed by Biden, uh, the $1,400 stimulus checks. The first two stimulus checks were underneath Trump, $1,200 and $600. Uh, Trump, $1,400 under Biden. Nobody really paid for those because um, the government already runs a deficit. And so that, like the Amer when we talk about the American taxpayer, um, the government already runs a deficit. So the American taxpayer didn't really pay for these because when we th think about the, the money that the American taxpayer pays for, all of, all of that is already used up. So when these stimulus packages came into play, um, the, the, the taxpayer didn't really pay for those because <laughs> all the taxpayer money is already spent. So these basically just went on to the uh, uh, the national deficit. Two from two stimulus packages from Trump, one from Biden. They just went on to the national deficit, but. These next two packages are different. The bipartisan physical infrastructure packages uh, package that has uh, support from the Republicans and the Democrats, and the next stimulus packages or stimulus package, the American Families Plan, both of those are fully paid for, or almost fully paid for, very very close, depending on how they're going to actually the final de details will come out, are either fully paid for or almost fully paid for. By raising taxes on the wealthy, raising taxes on corporation, uh, leftover stimulus money that's already accounted for, um, making pharmaceutical companies lower their prescription drug prices, which is going to save the U.S. government hundreds and hundreds of billions of dollars. So um, that shouldn't uh, kick in inflation or anything like that because they're, they're, they're paid for it. So tax money's coming in by corporations and, and wealthy, 
and they're then using that money that is coming in from tax revenue to then pay for these packages. So I hope that makes sense. So um, yeah, it's like revenue coming in is then paying for these packages. So uh, monthly stimulus checks, tax credits, um, Social Security, or uh, not Social Security, but Medicare, possible Social Security. Uh, we're also going to have a big Social Security uh, update coming, I believe, on Wednesday of this week. We're supposed to get the new CPI index, which is going to tell us the uh, data for the next month of inflation, which will give us the next piece of the puzzle of how much Social Security uh, increase is going to be for the cost of living adjustment. So that's going to give us the next update for the cost of living adjustment of how much the Social Security increase is going to be. Uh, once we get that, we can kind of put the pieces of uh, data together and how much cost of living adjustment for Social Security increase is going to be. Uh, we're expecting it to be around 6%, which is actually very significant. I know that might not sound like a lot, but that will actually be the biggest increase in over 30 years in over 30 years. So um, remember last year, it was only 1.2%. Uh, this year, it's expected to be around 6%. So um, like I said, that's the biggest increase in over 30 years. So um, yeah, that, that can really add up for some people. And again, it's a whole lot better than 1.2%. So we're going to be expected to get that data on Wednesday. And I will keep you up to date on that as well. And then normally shortly after that, we should have a official announcement from Social Security itself uh, shortly after that. So yeah, we're going to have a lot of things coming out this week here uh, from Social Security um, regarding the official announcement from them, as well as the stimulus package and the Democrats coming out with um, hopefully an official announcement on an agreement here very shortly as well. So I'll keep you up to date on everything. Uh, don't miss any videos at this point. Remember, new videos come out here on our channel every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't yet. It's completely free to do so. I will keep you up to date on everything. You can click here to watch my newest stimulus check update and here to watch my newest video on social security increases. There's two or three more on the horizon. So click on one of those videos next. Thanks, guys, and I will see you in the next video.